We begin with the latest back and forth exchanges between Pyongyang and Washington. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said Friday he is hopeful nuclear talks with North Korea will continue after Pyongyang reportedly said it may walk away from the negotiations. Park ki -jun starts us off. Despite North Korean Vice Foreign Minister Choi son remarks that the regime may end nuclear talks, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo still expressed hopes for continued dialogue. She left open the possibility that negotiations would continue for sure. It's, uh, it's the administration's uh, desire that we continue to have conversations around this. Uh. Speaking at a news conference on Friday local time, Pompeo showed confidence that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un will keep his promise to discontinue nuclear and missile testing. In Hanoi, on multiple occasions, he spoke directly to the president and made a commitment that he would not resume nuclear testing, nor would he resume missile testing. So that's Chairman Kim's word. Uh, we have every expectation that he will live up to that commitment. Pompeo also said Choi was in the wrong to accuse him and National Security Advisor John Bolton of causing the breakdown in talks at the Hanoi summit. Bolton also denied the accusations that the pair had created an atmosphere of distrust and hostility during the summit. I, I think that's uh, inaccurate, but the, the president uh, is our decision maker. I... Che also said the U.S. was gangster-like in their demands for denuclearization. To that, Pompeo said it was not the first time that North Korea had portrayed him in a negative light and added that the two sides have continued to have very professional conversations despite such accusations. He also said he has every expectation that they'll be able to continue such discussions. Park Ki-jun, Arirang News.